Hello YouTube. Uh, the fox is off the tractor. I have a tree limb that fell so I need to put the bucket back on so I can get the grapple. Uh, but this is just kind of a tutorial to show you how these uh, skid steer quick connects is just great. great. Greatest thing invented since sliced bread. So what we're going to do is just hook this up. It shouldn't take very long. Uh, usually what you do is just raise up the loader tilt these out. I'm probably going to tilt them out a little bit more. But the great thing is uh, to show the purpose of making these roll around carts. You know, stuff pretty heavy. That's heavy right there. This here is probably uh, about 200 pounds. So it just got one of those cheap uh, Harbor Freight roll around uh, 18 by 30. That's what that is. So either I do when I need it. Just makes it easy for one person. Pull that joke over. And then uh, get it all lined up. And what happened is these uh, flat spots here hook up right up under here. And then when you lift the loader up, tilt it. And then the, the bottom will line up and then you just close these things here. Uh, these little levers. So, okay. Let me switch cameras. And... We'll try to get that thing hooked up. Fired up. What you gotta do? I usually just double check, take a visual, make sure the bottom is all the way back, and then uh, push those levels down, and it's locked up. Do a good visual safety check. Sometimes I get down to look at the bottom. Sure. It's got on the end of this. It's got a little tang that goes down the hooks into the bottom of the bucket. So, the next thing you do, you just put your lines on. Um, got this one. Yeah, take these things out. Keep dirt from getting in your lines. So either they pull out, then you hook up. This is the way I got mine hooked up on this little contraption here to give me some spring loaded. Uh, the spring here flops. So, alright, we'll get it hooked up and then get it operation.
that. Uh, thank you for watching. That just shows uh, how valuable and how handy these are. They're great for safety and they're great to put heavy things onto the tractor. So I, in a previous video I put down in the link or maybe put up top it's what we did for the uh, box blade. I did the same thing for the uh, cutter and I had one for the forks. Uh, the cutter and the box blade is made out of metal. I use these little wood ones for the lighter weight stuff. Uh, like the pallet forks and like this. If you like these kind of videos, hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell. You'll be notified the next time we do something. Thank you. Catch you on the next one.